I'm Bottles. I'm Maury. And welcome back to Last Window, the secret of Cape West. We're gonna go see what the fuck's going on with the door. Maybe it's Betty. It's... <gasps> Donnie! Donnie! Hey! <laughs> it's you. Hi. Merry Christmas, Hyde! What the hell do you want this early in the morning? Wow. Back to your normal cold self, I see. You have to forgive me, but wasn't it you who dumped your friend on Christmas Eve? Just go, to, just to go to paint the town red with Betty. I'm not denying it, but have a heart, man. What would you have done? Anyway, how was wow. the? I'm not gonna let you answer that. Anyway, <laughs> how was the rest of the night down there? Just me and Sydney drinking till after the place closed. Shit, I should, I we should have. Damn, I feel bad now. We should have. Uh... Listen, man, Hyde can fucking deal with it. Tony needs this. Yeah, but Sydney probably needed this. Cool. <laughs> He's tough to drink under the table, that one. Can't remember a single time I didn't pass out while he's still solid as a rock. So how was your night? Solid as a rock! <laughs> Mine? How'd it go with Betty? That's what you've come here to tell me about anyway, right? You really can't see right through me, man. So what happened? Well, we headed to the same place I took you to a couple of nights ago. Spent half the night. Ch so you took her there. I thought that was uh, our place. place. Spent half the night chatting and getting out of control. Sounds like it went pretty well. Yeah, I thought so too. But now I'm not so sure. What do you mean? I'd actually kind of given up on Betty. Wow. But then she went and said some pretty confusing things. Like, oh, he's pr she's probably trying to figure out something. Then she told me to give something to you. Something pretty weird. It like beeps and it's made out of machines. I thought I, I, I figured you could get you know figure it out. It's a bomb. Uh, <laughs> here, like it has this pretty clock on it too. <laughs> it's counting down. Like I wonder what happens when it gets to zero. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I gotta I gotta go see my mom. That reminds me. Uh, I need a thousand dollars. Ignore the fact that if you give me a thousand dollars, that clock will stop. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what did Betty say? She was a little drunk and slurring her words a bit. She said something about a scarlet star. <laughs> but she was going on about how the uh, there are two guys that she likes. Uh oh. One who sets sparks flying, and one she cares about in a different way. Cryptic. Her words, not mine. I just sat there nearly falling off my stool. But the next thing she said sure threw me a hell of a curveball. Tony, she said. What do you think when there's someone that you really care about? Who's close to you? You know, someone you've been friends with for a while. How do you tell them how how do you tell them how much you care about them without them freaking out? Did she say anything else? Yeah, she said, the other guy's history now, and I want to take it further with that friend, but... So what had you so confused? That, that's the thing! The way that she looked at me when she said it, I started thinking maybe that friend... Is it's me! me. <laughs> maybe it's Kyle. I think it's Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't actually ask her, right? Nah, I kind of chickened out. Pathetic, isn't it? Maybe you're wrong. Maybe you're right. But for now, you should stick to the belief that she was talking about you and try to become that person to her. Only way to be sure, right? I guess so. But I'm also giving up on her. <laughs> you know what? Maybe it is me. Who knows? I just want to see chaos. <laughs> I mean, look at you. You can't get her out of your head. Ain't that the truth? Kyle, you're just asking for trouble. <laughs> Or did she ask you to look after or whatever? <laughs> did he say that this guy was handsome? <laughs> Does she like the tie? <laughs> <laughs> she did say something about a tie, which really confused me because I don't wear ties. <laughs> this. Maybe I should wear ties. It's some sort of notebook. A notebook? 
She said it belongs to Rex, but he left it behind. <gasps> oh, we got the scoop. Oh, we got the Betty giving us the scoop. I'm pretty sure she was thinking about us. <laughs> I take Rex's notebook. She said something about you being able to find some use for it. She wanted to be useful to us. She's trying to give us the signal to go to her Let's room and go. slide into her DMs. Can't say I understood what she was getting at, though. What? <laughs> <laughs> God. Right. I'm gonna go back to my room. Tony leaves my room. What's Rex keeping written down in this notebook? I think it's time I found out. Oh, here you go. And inside the notebook, it reads, Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> oh, oh my god! I open Rex's notebook. Inside, there's something written. It reads, Condor 1967, dis Condor disappeared. Jack Green disappeared. Oh god, more characters. Jack Green? Who the hell is he? Is that Jack? Huh? It's my phone again. It's almost like I'm alternating between answering the phone and answering my door. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> huh? Someone's, uh, someone's at my door now. Hello? From the other end of the line, I hear a very familiar voice. Rachel. Merry Christmas, sweetie. I have good, good news for you. It's my dramatic recovery and be on the hospital for the weekend. That's good to hear. <laughs> yes, it's pretty comforting. But the doctor laid down the law. He said Ed can't really afford to push himself anymore. He has to avoid any unnecessary stress that could put strain on his heart. I was so going to read that as stain. But it was strain. <clears throat> but you restrained. <laughs> but I restrained. So I guess that means we'd better not give him too much trouble. You mean you better not? I'm a pretty well-behaved little individual, but yeah, that's what I figured too. Uh, all right. Uh, oh God, <laughs> Rachel! I had lunch. So how about you? <laughs> Have there been any doors? Oh my God, that was really acidy. <laughs> Ooh, uh, I can still taste it. <laughs> Nothing too exciting, but there is something I need you to check out. What is it? I need you to check out someone connected to Rex Foster. Someone going by the name of Jack Green, who is under investigation by Rex. He may have disappeared off the grid after 1967. Jack Green? 1967. Good. I'll see what I can do here. Expect to call when I find something. Thanks. And it won't be until the next game. Can I, like, make. like, I'm more complaining about this game. We're in Chapter 8. Of this game, right? And we're still getting new characters. We're not only that. We're still getting new characters, and it feels like we are no closer to the end of this mystery than when we started. There better be some, like, huge revelation that makes, like, oh everything make sense immediately. Looks like I'm gonna be at a loose end until Rachel gets back to me about Jack Green. Hang on. I just, I just remembered. <laughs> I need to return Sydney's record to him. Riveting. Oh, Sydney. Uh, uh, Wait, we gotta go to the record. Oh, do I not have it? Did we did we pick it back up? Oh, no, no it's right there. It. Yeah, yeah. I guess he I guess he did. <laughs> so that my door This again. jacket is empty. Why are you? Where's my record? <laughs> Sorry, I just really like listening to it. And it's not like we have anything to like ask other people right now. Yeah. Maybe if we went to Betty, but... Like, with Hotel Dust, there was a constant mystery about something. Not this game. I feel like we're in a dead end at this point. We're just literally waiting for a lead to show up, which we, we technically just got, but... Yeah, I guess. But we have to wait for Rachel to get back to us. I pressed the wrong button. Come on. C come on. Thank you. Sydney, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Mr. Hine. Thanks again for last night. It was a refreshing change of pace. I enjoyed myself too. I think last night is going to be a Christmas Eve I'll be sure to remember. Yeah, 
You and me both. Would you care for anything to eat? Nah, I'm good. I feel like I ate three minutes ago. <laughs> I'm still full from last night. I did. Do you still have Tony's portion though? <laughs> I'll, I'll take that. I just came to return that record you loaned me. It was pretty terrible. God, I hated it. You reminded me of my dead dad. I hated him. I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> I hand Sydney back his record. Thanks for that. Kyle, there's something I need to tell you. <laughs> I'm your dad. <laughs> did you listen to it? Yeah, I took it home and listened to it all night. Did night. you listen to it in reverse? No. <laughs> Well, what do you think I gave it to you for? For some happy tune listening? <laughs> no! You idiot! You idiot! Is that... Is that so? It's not the kind of thing I usually listen to, but the song's nostalgic to me. Thanks to, thanks to your record, I had a bit of a sentimental moment alone in my room. You masturbated? <laughs> uh, do, it does you good to come out of... Come... It does you good to come out of yourself from time to time. Yeah, I think it does. Ahem. Actually, Mr. Hyde, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Yeah? Did I say anything compromising last night? Actually, I... What is it? I Just come out and say it. I can't remember. <laughs> I wanted to ask for your help with something. It's about Claire. Please, I want grandchildren! <laughs> has something happened to her? She's been acting funny ever since she got home last night. And she hasn't said a word to me all morning. And not the funny ha-ha like usual. Like the funny weird. Like the weird funny. Like not like a clown. Like, <laughs> well, like It's like a clown, but also like a clown. Well, it's like a clown, <laughs> but like... Not the more, funny clown. Not the funny clown. Like like Pennywise the clown. Or like you know, like, day, like the day-old pasta that you put in the microwave. Like it's just not the same and it kind of tastes funny, but not like the good kind of... Not like the ha-ha <laughs> funny. Not like a clown. Well, I guess kind of like a clown if you're thinking about Pennywise, but like, I think more uh, like... Get on clown. with it! <laughs> However, many times I ask her, she won't say a thing. I'm at the end of my tether. Don't you mean rope? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want me to do? I want you to find out what the problem is. Would you mind speaking to her on my behalf? I'm sure it has everything to do with your situation that you're dealing with right now. <laughs> Sometimes when I look at her, all I see is a naive young girl. If you agree to speak to her, you'll find her cleaning the billiards room. I'm counting on you, Mr. Hyde. Your mission, if you choose to accept it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I mean, I guess I have nothing else to do. She keeps saying she's, uh, woke. <sighs> oh, hello. Pink. Claire. I'm sorry, but I'm busy with cleaning at the moment. <coughs> oh, dear. Oh, sorry, I had to dab for a sec. Yeah, what's good? Objection. <laughs> Claire. Are you still worried about your dad? Was she worried about her dad? Yeah. She was worrying about like him like not being able to remember things. Oh, yeah. I guess that was happening, wasn't it? Yeah. Claire, are you still worried about your dad? Yes, I am. You remember what we talked about the day before Christmas Eve? Did you get around to asking him about it? Did you find out if there's someone special in his life? I never got around to asking him outright. But Probably because I, kinda... I forgot to. Because you know, my best friend. Uh, I was more. I was more. Me. Yeah, my best friend ditched me that night. <laughs> Sorry, I was dealing with my own problems. <laughs> but I kind of got an impression from the way he was acting. <clears throat> so what you're trying to tell me is that you didn't ask, right? I'm not interested in maybes. I need to know for sure. Claire. After all, this could be the last chance. I knew it. I just knew it. I had a feeling all along that he couldn't keep his promise. Hmm. Wait, promise is the name of the song he gave. <laughs> promise, 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 promise. The last chance for what, Claire? The last chance for him and that to him and mom to get back together. If dad doesn't step in and do something right away, it'll be too late. Mom's going to move to Boston. And that's what I mean when I say this is his last chance. So you're holding out hope to your folks to give it a second chance. Oh, is that she it? saw her mom. <gasps> it wasn't a friend. Oh. She lied. Oh no, my god. She's trying to get back to get them back together. 
Oh. So that she can have a sister. Wait, huh? <laughs> She's trying to get them to fuck. <laughs> Listen, if they can't make you a sister, I can make you a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> it might take a couple tries. <laughs> I'm not very... <laughs> the word fertile <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna have to try it over and, and over, over, and, over, and, over, over and, and over and over and over and over again <laughs> i've been wishing it for ages now i see that's where i was last night mr hyde with mom oh, ha, ha. You figured it out can't hide anything from kyle hyde <laughs> get it except your feelings <laughs> uh <laughs> that's that's when she told me about her plans to leave for Boston. I asked her straight if she'd give Dad a second chance and then try to start over. But this is how she responded. She said that she still loved him even now, but that couldn't return. But that she couldn't return to Lucky's Cafe. Sure, it has good memories for her, but it also has some bad ones too. She was scared that returning here would bring the bad ones back, and she couldn't stand it. <clears throat> what kind of bad memories? Memories about Dad's loans. She told me all about it. After they fell out, business started to decline at the cafe. Mom hated the idea of borrowing money off of a certain person. But Dad... Oh... Okay. But Dad did it anyway. Well, I have two people that I, I think that might be it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it's his dad. It might be Jack Green. Mmm. But Jack know. Green might have... Maybe his dad was in Condor. Mm, that's possible. I don't know. Alright, what promise? Claire, what promise was that? It was one dad made after Mom left. What did he promise? He promised something on the first Christmas without Mom. It was a sad Christmas for me. Dad was busy at the cafe and I was all alone. I waited up until he finished work and returned home. He was a little drunk when he got there, though. Still, when he saw me, he pulled me into a hug and said that we could find happiness. Just the two of us. He promised that we'd be happier than ever, than we'd ever been before. Happier than you'd ever been, huh? That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> he forced himself into a smile at the time, but I knew the truth. I could see past his smile and to the tears that fell from his eyes. I knew that mom was leaving. Uh, that mom leaving was the hardest thing he'd ever had to deal with in his life. That's why I promised him something too that night. I promised that I'd also look for a way for us to be happy. And that's why you started to think of them getting back together, right? Right. That's all I've thought of about the efforts. I can't talk to it. But I don't know what Dad's thinking anymore. Who was the person he borrowed from? It was Rex Foster. Rex Who was the person he borrowed from? It was Dylan. Miss Patrol. <gasps> what? Oh, Mags. That's what I heard. He got the money he needed from her. Mom's never been able to forgive him for that. And you knew about this? No, I had no idea. I'd never heard about it until just last night. This is the last thing Mom told me last night. She said Dad still hadn't repaid all the money he borrowed. Who was I trying to kid? Dreaming that Mom and Dad would get back together and all would, uh, and we'd all be happy ever after? I certainly let my imagination get the better of me, didn't I? I should have known it was never going to happen. I was stupid to even think it could. Claire, as we get older, we learn to become more accepting of each other's shortcomings. Time for Kyle to teach someone a lesson. I'm sure your folks are no different either. So if they really still love each other enough to put that whole ordeal in the past, who's to say that your dream won't come true after all? My dream? It's all down to how much affection they still have for each other. I'll tell you what your dad told me last night. I'll tell you just how much your dad still loves your mom. Mr. Hyde. You take everything too much to heart, Claire. But sooner or later, both of them are going to sit up and notice how you're feeling. When that happens, 
they'll finally be able to answer each other's questions. That's why the best thing you can do is keep that smile on your face and stop sighing. You're right, Mr. Hyde. I need to look on the bright side. I'm still curious, though. <laughs> I'm about to ask some real prime questions. You know, out of curiosity. Am I still- oh, can we still talk to her? Claire. Go away. Thanks a million, Mr. Hyde. I feel much better now. I still have something to add- okay. <laughs> Wait, I still have something- God. Wait, look at her. She's, She's like happy. way happier. <gasps> yeah. Oh, I could Before stare. she was like hunching her back. I could stare at that forever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yo, Sid. I got some uh, questions to ask you about your crippling debt. <laughs> My crippling depression? No, your crippling debt. We'll settle that later. <laughs> Sydney. How did it go, Mr. Hyde? Did you manage to find out what's been troubling Clay? I asked her, all right. But she's got some serious worries on her mind. She's worried about love. About what? Oh, no! <laughs> I feared it might be something like that. I should have known something was up when she left at that hour last night. So what's going on? Has she hooked up with some guy? Is he treating her badly? I'll... <laughs> oh, God. hold on there, Sydney. <laughs> Let's not jump to conclusions. But you just told me she's having problems with her love life. No, 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 not love no, no, life. No, 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 no. Not her love life. Your love life. That is what you said, wasn't it? Not really, no. It's got nothing to do with her love life. She's worried about her mom and you. Her mom and me? It was her mom she met up with last night. You She's know dating she her mom? <laughs> Hold She's on. gay? <laughs> That's a whole... <laughs> Are they at least filming it? <laughs> Do you Did have you... proof? Because you can make a living on Pornhub with that, you know? <laughs> I can help with my debt. <laughs> my crippling debt. So what did you want to talk about? <laughs> you know what she's hoping? She's hoping that you and her mom will give it another try. So that's what it's all about. Also, there's something I need to ask you. What is it? Uh, your crippling debt. <laughs> <clears throat> What's happening with the loan from Max? How on earth did you find out about that, Mr. Hyde? Claire let me in on it, and it was her mom who told her. I see. Well, it all goes back to when we needed money to get this place up and running. Mrs. Patrice was kind enough to give us what we needed. It all stems from me knowing her late husband. Her late husband? Well, why is he so late? <laughs> <laughs> he should just get there on time. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I, I can't. I'm stupid. <laughs> I've been paying in installments each month. In half a year, my debt will be settled. She said she has too many bad memories to do with money troubles. For her, it's a very real reason not to give you a second chance to get back together. So that's the root of it. She still doubts me. Ah! More questions. How did you know Mags' husband? He was a customer in the restaurant here when this place was still a hotel. I would wait on his table a lot. I used to work there when I was younger, you see. Anyway, George Patrice, or Mrs. Patrice's husband, as I should call him, was a regular. Very partial to cheesecake, as I recall. Very partial to cheesecake. <laughs> what kind of man was he? I remember him telling me that he used to play the sax in his youth. Either that or he had a lot of sex in his youth. I can't, my memory is, it's gone. His, his, his crippling black lung was always getting in the way. But at the time, <laughs> but at the time when I knew him, he was the owner of several eateries around town. To sum him up, he wasn't afraid to spread his money around. All the waiters jostled for the right to wait on his table. Of course, all they were after were the tips he'd offer them and nothing more. He'd always be around when the hotel was having an evening event. In particular, he always came to the parties they called Scarlet Star. Oh my god. What connection could this have to the thing I'm looking for? All of the connection. He's part of the Scarlet Star. Uh, click. Yeah. Uh, what does Claire's mom doubt about you? Literally fucking everything! <laughs> She thinks there's something between me and Mrs. Patrice. She does? 
It was just something my wife was worried about. You see, when Mrs. Patrice was standing trial, what? I believed that she was innocent. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Was she... Was she, like, tried for her husband's murder? Ooh. My wife was convinced she was guilty. And from that point, she was sure that Mrs. Patrice and I had something going on. Meaning that when I borrowed the money, she refused to forgive me for what I'd done. So is there any truth to it? No! No! I only licked her pussy like once! <laughs> you, you and Mrs. And it was in the butt, so it doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> or was it simply all a huge misunderstanding on Claire's mom's part? Of course it was just a misunderstanding! And she has a name. It's Max. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> fuck! <laughs> I only had eyes for her. There was never anything between Miss and me, me and Mrs. Patrice. I mean, have you seen? Have you heard her? <laughs> My God! Uh... I mean, have you heard her? It's, it's literally like this. Yes. <laughs> All the time. Imagine that on your cock. Like, it wouldn't feel good. <laughs> probably not sanitary either. It's probably not sanitary. There's probably a lot of tar in there. <laughs> God. Oh my god. There were parties called Scarlet Star? Yes, there were. Every month, Hotel Cape West could hold a party on a date with the number six in it. Those parties would be called Scarlet Star. Scarlet Star, Scarlet Star. He's gonna get hit Star, by somebody. Star, he's gonna hit Scarlet Star, Scarlet Star, Scarlet some Star. Assassin, Star. Some assassin's gonna Condor. jump. Condor. Condor. <laughs> How did they earn that name, though? I couldn't tell you. I haven't got the faintest idea, I'm afraid. Other parties that were held there had similar names, like Gold Star, Silver Star. Those were held on dates Four star. numbers three or nine. What kind of parties were they? Just run-of-the-mill affairs, really. You know, the type with food and drinks and a live band and a dance floor. And millions of dollars just laying around. <laughs> <laughs> I was there on a number of... I was there on a number of occasions, and they were all pretty similar. When did Max stand trial? Sydney, when did Mag stand trial? Well, let's just forget about that, shall we? No, fuck I don't. That. You don't think you so. don't. You don't get you to don't, bring that. You up. don't be like, oh, she stood trial and be like, nothing. Sydney, Ooh. tell me about it. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Uh, yeah, he's pretty headstrong. I kind of regret like uh, saying. Uh, so you can't tell me, huh? Yeah. So you can't tell me, huh? Not really. Well, I can't beat it out of you. But I can ask you nicely. Will you tell me? <laughs> yeah, I suppose I could. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That, that's, there's no way that would have worked. Come no. On. Seeing as it's you I'm talking to. But you have to promise to keep it to yourself. Mind. What? Of course. Thirteen years ago. <laughs> can, I, can, you, can I, will you tell me if I ask you nicely? <laughs> Please? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> tell me. No. Please? Alright. <laughs> Mrs. Patrice was a suspect in a certain incident. The jury returned a verdict of innocent, though, and she was freed. Thank you. The, More, it. please! More? <laughs> What kind of incident was it? I'm not gonna tell you. Please? Okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> she was suspected of killing her husband. What the hell? She was a suspect in a murder case? She was indeed. Sydney, why was her husband... Mr. Hyde, I've got nothing more to say on the matter. Can we leave it there, please? The verdict was innocent, and that's all that counts. I really don't want to talk about it anymore. I understand. Because it was you that murdered him. <gasps> it was the thumb. <laughs> I just need to make sure. But you will keep this discussion between us, won't you? You know. Zip. <laughs> I really don't want anything I've said about Mrs. Patrice to get out. I only told you because I trust you. Yeah, I hear you loud and clear. Then we understand each other. The last thing I want is to cause any trouble for Mrs. Patrice. So don't blab. So don't blab. <laughs> now, was that everything you wanted to ask me about, Mr. Hyde? I do have a cafe to run, you know. <laughs> Zero customers. No 
one's here but you, but I still want to run it. I still want to try and get like a meal out of you. I right? like to pretend. <laughs> Actually, there is something else. What do you want to know? Do you still love your wife? Do I what? I want to hear how you really feel about her. Well, I... Why does it matter to you? Because I'm curious. I'm curious. Oh, the zoom in! I love her. And there's no denying it. I just haven't got the confidence to tell her. To tell her you love her? Not exactly. To tell her that I want us to give it another try. You understand what I'm saying, don't you, Mr. Hyde? Even when two people really love each other, it doesn't guarantee it'll work out. You look like a different person now. He does. His nose got bigger. Yeah. The real reason we separated was to do with me. I murdered someone. <laughs> when I think about how it happened now, I can see exactly why she walked out. If only I could have seen things the way I see them now. I tried to console myself by making her the villain and branding her as heartless. But the truth is, I was a fool. The worst thing is that it took losing my wife for me to notice how she was feeling. That's why I'm afraid. I'm afraid that if we didn't get back together, I'd do the same thing over again. I'm sure she's thinking along the same exact lines, though. You may feel unsettled, but you clearly want to have another shot at happiness. Mr. Hyde. Claire told me about the promise you made her. She did? She told me about the first Christmas you spent without your wife. And when you told her that you'd find happiness again together, she's been thinking about that ever since. I totally forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot about that bullshit promise. I was just trying to shut her the fuck up. She kept crying, was... like, for her mom. Well, her idea of happiness is having her family back and all living together. <laughs> Mr. Hyde. It's not my place to dictate to how you and your family should be. But I'll tell you this for free. There aren't many families that can get back together. Most of them who've tried, fail. Ain't that a fact. A sad but true one. Okay, I need to be somewhere. No you don't! Where are you, you gotta go? Your room? Probably to question Patrice. Oh, it's three now. <sighs> wow, we spent He's... a lot of time reminiscing. He slept till one. That when, is... does he, when does that he is work? True. Well, I guess because Ed is... Ed is in the hospital. How convenient for him that he doesn't uh, have to. He just got it back and now he still doesn't have to work. Uh, it's really nice, actually. Alright, this is where we're gonna cut it. <laughs> Guys, if you like the video, like and comment, subscribe. If you wanna see more videos like this one, hit that bell if you wanna see more Last Window. And check out our other series like Hotel Dusk and fucking Doki Desu Doki. Stranding. Deku Desu Stranding! Yeah, Dead Stranding is also another series we've done. Uh, if you want to see us play a game that isn't a visual novel. Uh, <laughs> question of the day. Uh, Who'd you spend Christmas with? Was uh, it with your family? Was it with a loved, with a, a specific loved one? Where were you alone? <laughs> were you alone? <laughs> Tell that, us about that too. Put that shit in the comments below. I'm Bottles. I'm Maury. See you around.